Hello, good evening. It's a late one for you today and I didn't post yesterday for Black Tuesday. But today I want to continue a little bit about food. So this is still the point one of Steps to Joy. And uh, there's a couple of things I didn't mention yesterday that are just too good not to share with you. So uh, the first one is about when you wake up in the morning, the first thing that your body needs is something really clean. You know when you're washing up and sometimes things are smeared um, and you can tell it wasn't a clean food, you know, it needs a really hard rub when you're washing up. But some foods are really clean and you know that's how that they act through the body as well. One of those is celery. So celery juice, to actually um, get a juicer, I got a really good cheap one from Asda. Uh, it's only about £40 and I juice celery uh, quite often and it just tastes amazing because it tastes so healthy, it tastes like it's cleaning you and it's good for you. But the main reason I do it is a lovely client recommended it to me and what it does is it cleans the liver and we do need to be looking after our organs so much. And, not just if you think they might be poorly, but just preventative and just thinking about that organ and sending it love, but definitely sending it celery juice. Um, so celery juice is really good for cleaning out the liver. And if you have a glass of celery juice first thing in the morning, once a day, so amazingly, a whole crown of celery will provide a good a small glass of celery juice per person and then leave it 20 minutes and then have your drinks and your breakfast etc. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to add. Um, another little thing I wanted to add was yesterday I didn't talk about robbers. Now robbers are the types of foods and drinks and pollution that will actually take away all those vitamins and minerals that you are so good in making sure that you have within your day's requirements. And a robber can be something like tea, coffee, alcohol, salt, sugar, um, drugs, so that includes medication, antibiotics, and also uh, pollution so we can be breathing in pollution and that will rob us of those vitamins and minerals unfortunately so if you are exposed to those elements you need to be having even more vitamins and minerals or maybe cut some of those elements out like cut your coffees down to one a day or even take them out and you will find an amazing change if you don't drink coffee it takes the the liver, I've heard this years ago, tell me if I'm wrong, about six hours to detox one cup of coffee. Um, so that poor liver might be working all day just on your coffee, let alone everything else. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. The other thing is, um, it's really good for you to have a smoothie every day. And the good thing about smoothies is you can bung anything in and then drink it and you're not really tasting that individual item because it's all mixed in with lovely sweetness and juices so for instance just to give you an idea of smoothies although I would say vary your smoothies and don't have the same one every day is for instance at the moment I am making for the family apple and orange with always a nugget of ginger and then I put in like a mixture so at the moment I'm doing chlorella which is basically sunlight it's a green powder it's beautiful I'm also putting in acidophilus which is the good gap, uh, gut bacteria um, and then I'm also putting in things like um, a multivitamin so I actually take it out of its capsule and put it in this smoothie um, and that's normally got turmeric in it, so the smoothie will go bright yellow. Um, I'm also putting in an extra vitamin C because of the virus around at the moment, and we do need really high quantities of vitamin C in us. Um, and then sometimes I'll put in other things like different fruits or even vegetables. Um, I always put in seeds, and I do something called seed cycling, so you might want to look that up, Google it. And um, Seed cycling is all about having different um, two seeds. So for instance, sesame and sunflower or pumpkin and flaxseed 
depending on what the moon's doing and that will keep us all in cycle with that 28 day cycle men and women it's really good for us and because I'm grinding them up in the smoothie um, my body is able to absorb them much better so that's a really good tip and then you know you're getting your protein in that smoothie as well because it's got the seeds in that's a good tip um, the other couple of things I wanted to mention are about herbs now I've grown up with herbs because my mother was an amazing lady in growing herbs in the garden which I now try to do a little although she always had herbs growing outside the back door um, but also cutting them up into salads so obviously raw or putting them into stews and casseroles and soups and then obviously we're cooking them and you get the flavor but not quite the amount of nutrition that you'd get if you eat them raw uh, but still amazing and I was always very fussy about having my herbs when I was a little girl and she you would take them and put them in a little bowl so that people could add their own and then I wouldn't add them and I look back at that and I think oh stupid me why did I do that being so fussy and these days, being an aromatherapist, I love herbs. So I'm growing them, I'm using them every day in all my cooking and salads, and it makes the salad come alive. But also, I'm an aromatherapist, so I use lots of different essential oils, and there are some key ones at the moment that are antiviral. So for instance, thyme. Uh, there are different types of thyme, but sweet thyme is one that we can all get access to, that's antiviral. Um, also cinnamon, obviously a spice, um, also peppermint, that's a really good antiviral herb um, and then there are other ones like lemon and lavender is as well um, and basil, basil's highly antiviral, fantastic. So those are some ones you might want to be eating or dripping into your massages or your face creams, etc., or your body creams for aromatherapy use. The other way I use aromatherapy, especially at the moment, is a few drops in with my washing up bowl um, and then rinse out my washing up cloth and then I wipe down things like the door handles, light switches, um, surfaces, uh, phone screens, etc., with this high antiviral mix. We don't know yet exactly what is anti-corona, but at least you're getting antiviral and all essential oils are antiseptic and then various of them will be antibacterial, etc. So you've, you've got really good buddies on your side using those essential oils. And finally, I wanted to say a new tip that I've heard recently, and I'm going to start doing it, which is obviously herbal teas, so that's another way of getting herbs inside you. But there is a certain one which is dandelion tea that we're going to be trying soon and I'm going to be adding it to my smoothies. And dandelion uh, apparently is really good for the liver and detoxing. And um, obviously it grows in abundance in the UK so we've got plenty of access to it. So if you can cut up some clean dandelions that you know haven't been in a sheep field but maybe um, in, in the garden and then make a nice tea and drink drink the water and you'll find that you'll feel really healthy from it apparently so let me know what you think or after some some weeks of doing that we're going to start doing it so lots of love so um yeah that's the second video for the food tips and i will tomorrow be going on to step two in steps to joy lots of love see you soon bye